G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm going to explain when is the best time of day to water your vegetable garden. Let's get into it. Well, I'll give you the quick answer first, but before I do that, just remember there are other reasons, there's myths that I wanna bust as well, so make sure you keep watching. The quick answer is the best time to water your vegetable garden is in the morning. That's for two main reasons. Firstly, watering early before the day warms up, especially in summer or in hot climates, saves on water evaporation. In other words, it saves water. So instead of getting turned into vapor, it has more of a chance to get down to the roots so your plants can absorb it. Secondly, watering early in the morning gives your plants an opportunity to have a good drink, take up that water in preparation for the day ahead. So it can better withstand the stress of the sun and other elements like dry winds, etc. If your plants already lack water before a very hot day, for example, it's like us. Say do an activity like hiking. If we're not rehydrated, say we've had a big night on the turps the night before and we haven't had enough water, and then we do an activity and go hiking up a mountain, we're going to feel it a lot more and do it a lot tougher, aren't we? But life doesn't always go like clockwork. So what if we get busy and we forget to water in the morning? Can we water, say, at midday when it's really hot? Well, yes, we can. It's an old myth that watering your plants through the hottest part of the day is going to burn them. That's not going to happen. You're better off watering your plants whenever they need it, no matter what time of day or how hot it is. However, there are exceptions, such as some plants might wilt to some degree in the hot sun regardless of being well watered. It just might be too hot for the plant. Like these wilting cucumbers here, they've got plenty of water. The only thing is it's getting at a time of year when they are starting to suffer slightly. And as we go from spring into summer, these plants are going to wilt even more. But what you'll find though, these plants will recover as the day goes on and into the afternoon and they'll come good again once that harsh sun, say, goes over a little bit. So it's not a real issue. On hot days or through heat wave periods, it might be a good idea to split watering twice a day, once in the early morning and again in the late afternoon or evening to help plants recover better. Just a quick note on watering in the late afternoon or evening, try to water at the base of the plants rather than over the foliage. I can do that because it's not in the evening. If you leave these leaves wet over that, you know, through the night, especially plants like potatoes or tomatoes or even cucumbers, kirkabits, that can introduce or manifest diseases, you know, like fungal diseases and that type of thing. It can make them easier to spread and sort of fester through that dampness. So you're better off watering at the base so that the water just penetrates the roots only and leaves those leaves nice and dry through the evening. That is just something to note to make sure that your plants aren't sitting all night long, shivering and quivering all damp. Likewise, if you've got young plants or you've sowed seed or you have seedlings emerging, watering twice a day can mitigate the risk of them dying from heat stress, especially in hot weather. Again, you might want to water later in the day, but still early enough for the foliage to dry out so these young plants aren't too damp for too long. If you can make the time to get out and water your vegetable garden by hand whenever necessary, there are several advantages of doing that. Firstly, walking around the garden is good for you, and I often use it as therapy. I've just put that down. I've got to be honest with you, I'm just using it as examples and a prop because we had a ton of rain last night and our garden doesn't need watering. So there you go. But that is a good point. 
sometimes your garden for whatever reason doesn't need watering but the other advantages of watering by hand is that most vegetable gardens have many and varied plants that require different amounts of water and different garden beds might have different types of soil one might be slightly heavier or lighter than the other so one might need less water than the other bed it's typical in our garden because they could be made up of different things different mediums some can have more mulch and different types of organic matter in the base others have different types of compost and soil mixes so target watering by hand is the way to go just to reiterate that example if you live in a cooler climate or in an area that has regular rainfall you might not need to water at all for several days or sometimes weeks it's important to not overwater your plants because diseases like root rot or drowning due to too much water can be just as destructive as not watering enough we've got a nice eggplant here it's starting to get its first fruit so say i wasn't sure whether or not this plant needed some water a good rule of thumb or i should say finger is to put your finger up to the second knuckle and if you can't feel any dampness down there or your finger comes out dry well then it's a good sign that your plant could do with a bit of water it's that simple well i hope that answered the question on when is the best time to water your vegetable garden for me it's definitely morning and i've got a few other things i need to do too you can see by this wide shot there's a quite a bit of edging and weeding that I need to do, which is maybe not as important, but uh, still needs to be done so it doesn't get away from you. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big morning watering thumbs up. Share the video around because that helps my channel out heaps and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Whew. Gotta get out of this hot sun. Cheers.